Hey, Jimmy, how are you today? I'm well, thank you. Hey, good to see you in a, in a studio now. <laughs> I know, still, still in the shirt though. <laughs> can't, can't deviate from, from that. So man, it's been a couple of months since we spoke last about what's going on in Vault Hill, the exciting stuff. It's been a crazy couple of months. We've been out in Paris, we've been um, signing contracts, we've been growing the team, we've been making offers. It feels like a world has passed in time since we spoke last, but here we are. Yeah. Another, another three months, another quarter to talk about, and it feels like it's really exciting again. Hey, I kid you not. I was talking to Dr. Owing, our comms specialist, yesterday on my drive from the gym, and I was just saying, hey, there's always something to do. Like, we're always so busy. Like, we probably need a, a couple of weeks to just chill, but even chilling... There's always so much to do chilling. <laughs> it's um, it's really exciting. And I think we're in a place now where we can share some really cool stuff yeah. about what's going on with the business, with the product, and with, with, with the team over the next couple of months. So do you want to start telling us about what's going on uh, this month and next month? So just pivoting from the private sale of the initial land offering, um, we're going to start looking at the public... Um, sale of the virtual land ball that you talk about that but i think importantly for us is the completion of again would i say this is product number one or two or three not sure but you know we're releasing our nft marketplace so within our product ecosystem this is one of the key products that enable our human centricity metaverse um so i'm really pleased and proud of you know the tech team you know everyone across the organization that has been a part and parcel of the NFT marketplace build, you know, we've looked at the UI UX from other marketplaces and then delved into how do we make this for, how do we make this easy for my dad in Nigeria that, you know, will tell me, Hey, Jimmy, I want to get on board, but you're going to have to help me, you know? So again, it's also looking at how we make it as user friendly as possible. Sure. It's really exciting because when we, when we look at, when we set this business up a few years, months ago, sorry, months ago, a year ago, when we set this business up a year ago, uh, <laughs> when we set this business up a year ago, right, we, human centricity was at the core of what we were doing. It was part and parcel of why we wanted to do something different. We looked at the brands out there, some brilliant, brilliant brands out there, but we saw a an opportunity within their business model to create something really unique. And I think it's really powerful for you to use a litmus test, such as your dad, to go. How can we make this easy easy for, for him to get on board with cryptocurrency, for him to get on board with, with what the internet's going to become, this, this metaverse that people keep talking about as this next iteration? And I, I really feel that the business is now driving towards that. Yeah. Should we spend some time just talking around not just the concept of human centricity in what it means for our brand with this, the seven districts, but also what it means for user adoption and what we're doing over the next couple of months with things like no code builder tools and how we're going to be implementing that to make it easy for people that aren't 40 year old men sitting in their mum's basement (laughs) like how how do people people like your dad get involved in crypto and what role is vault hill playing in that yeah absolutely and you know um where do i even start from because from a product perspective we started dip diving into you know to your words you know how do we make this easy for you know less less technical folks how do we make this easy for even technical people within Mm. the space that know how to use metamask and trust wallet and all of that good stuff and you know we we've we've come up with this idea but every 22nd of the month this year Mm -hmm. 22 xx 22 we're going to be releasing something and using that as a marketing strategy to release our products and services and offerings out there. So, hey, you know, our competition or anyone could actually start using this idea, but we started using that at, at Vault Hill mm-hmm. and we're launching our public sale um, of our virtual land where, you know, you have to get, you know, our VHC token. We're listed on three exchanges, Bitmart, MEXC and Quicksock. Mm-hmm. And, you know, you could you could start buying that. And with that, we're solving or we're answering two genuine you know, challenges of, you know, things I faced as well back in 2017, 2018, when I got into the space of virtual land, you know, I just land banked it because 
coming from Nigeria, you know, if you can't afford to buy a house, the mortgage system there is like next to nothing. You have to save up, buy a piece of land, you know, raise some money in a couple of months, a year's time, you know, buy, you know, build a foundation, build a fence, build the stories and, you know, building a house could take you best part of five to 10 years. And I went with the same concept of just buying virtual land and banking it. Um, up until we started doing research last year to understand how do we add value? Mm. How do we bring businesses and brands into this and actually create an ecosystem for content creators and create an economy behind Vault Hill City? And, you know, going back to my point, we're, we're, we're answering two questions with our land sales, right? We want to provide folks with the tools to be able to participate. So you buy the land as an NFT, that's the infrastructure. We're also developing a no-code builder tool. So this allows you you know, drop in a foundation, <laughs> um, put in some walls, change the color, put in a roof. You could build a basic studio. But if you want, you know, the Eiffel Tower and the mezzanine and you want the Burj Al Arab and that, it's still possible. Come to us, you know, our Excel Consulting will charge a fee for that and get that deployed in a couple of weeks or months. Um, but, you know, all jokes aside, you know, the, the, the land is there. The no-code builder tool will be available later this year. And then we partner with HTC to provide a VR glasses for you to immerse yourself in the experience and actually start, you know, understanding what it means to be in uh, uh, the Vault Hill metaverse, you know. So again, that's how we're answering, you know, those questions around human centricity and education around adoption as well. It's always going to be the um, public sale of the land, right? It's the ILO. So this is um, a launchpad event for us at Vault Hill where we're going to be selling 574 pieces of land. They're divided up into private and public. We've just closed the private round where we sold what, 140 correct, correct. pieces, right? And that went like that, Quickly. Right? which Quickly. is super exciting for us considering we're only a year old. We've now got a white list available and also a public list available for people to register their interest before we go to public. And that's, that's filling up at a, at a quickly quickly how are we going to ensure that people have got stuff to do yeah um have we done any partnerships with other other brands and, and other marketplaces to ensure that there's utility to to provide opportunity to to our community at the first instance yeah absolutely um so i'll, I'll, I'll piece down the questions you know in in order um but yes you know a, a, again for an investor for a content creator for a developer, for an architect, you know, name, name the skill sets, you know, there is an opportunity within the Vault Hill City metaverse, mm. you know, to operate in and also either end passive income or actually end main income. You know, people have started, you know, land trading. Um, there's a there's a guy on Twitter, uh, Chris Bell, quite popular in Sumium space. Um, I had a conversation with him a couple of months ago to say, hey, this is what we're building. And he said, Jimmy, hey, I like the thought process. I like the human centricity. When you're ready, you know, let's have a conversation. I'll get a couple of pieces and, you know, start trading. So for us, it's, you know, the utility behind it is the token. It's the land. It's the builder tool. Mm. Partnerships with brands, you know, I'm not going to call out, you know, brands we're working on in the background until, you know, we've dotted the I's and, you know, crossed the T's on those ones. But we're going to start announcing a couple of partnerships and brands that are coming into the space. And it's exciting because where we are, we, we, we didn't think we'll be here, you know, last year, you know, we've accelerated so much, you know, we've grown so much and, you know, we're starting to shape up, you know, how, how that looks like. Um, we, we made a decision to go with, um, uh, a cross platform so that way you could access Voltil on the mobile and the PC and on the web as well. But for us, we're focusing on mobile VR. The future is going mobile. Everyone can do stuff on a mobile device. You know, you have the, 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 the quest, you have the HTC Vive flow, which is what we're giving out during the ILO. Mm -hmm. And then from a game engine perspective, we're going with unreal for a number of reasons, you know, um, a couple of them around the high fidelity, you know, the HLOD, the EQS, a couple of technical ramifications that, you know, we've looked through the, the market, the competition to say, hey, this is where we want to go to. And we're doubling down on that, increasing our development team with Unreal developers. And, you know, hey, if you're an Unreal developer out there, you know, hey, give us a shout. Careers at Voltil.io, drop your CV and, you know, we'll, we'll take it from there.